Hello everybody, my name is McAspey and I hope everyone watching this video is having a great day so far, mine hasn't been too bad. And in an effort to upload consistently while being pretty busy today, I thought I would give a just a quick video about my thoughts on this new chapter, All Kill. And to get straight to the point, I, I don't think you should spend your money on this chapter and I'm going to explain why. Now, but before I do, I know you probably realized I just put True Talents gameplay in the background. And if I'm going to be honest, I really just couldn't be bothered to download the update and actually get some gameplay because after seeing what this chapter has to offer and getting some opinions on the forums and from other Dead by Daylight YouTubers, I just didn't see a reason to spend $7 to get th to get this new content. I just really couldn't find a reason to, and I'm going to explain why. So, yes, in essence, at least for now, okay, I'm, I'm confident things will change. I do not think the trickster is worth either your shards or your hard-earned cash. Uh, at, le at least for now. I have faith that behavior will see how, just how weak our poor K-pop boy is and hopefully give him at least a few buffs because he is by far just the worst killer added to this game. I, I know that previous chapters people have said the same thing maybe about twins and maybe some other killers but i can say with absolute certainty that the trickster is the new f2 killer below clown and i want to repent for uh my my pretty much rose glass video that i made on the ptb i was too caught up in the hype and the style to actually see through what this update really was and i that's another reason I wanted to make this video because in my previous PTB review of this chapter, I basically just said this chapter would be great and I did what only fools do and have faith that behavior would actually buff the trickster, trickster to make him somewhat decent, which is something you should never do because if there's anything behavior hates, it's buffing their killers. They, I mean, they buffed Wraith a little bit, but they also added some downsides. So there are a few exceptions, but for the most part, they just hate buffing their killers, so I don't know why I thought that this would be the exception. Oh well, so I'm not going to go through every single one of the weaknesses the Trickster has because I think by now everybody knows uh, why the Trickster is bad, but the main thing to take away here is that the power just is not good enough for 110 movement speed. Look at Spirit, and look at Hag, they have very strong powers that are worthy of 110%. This killer, most of the time, is better off just M1ing people because the power just takes too long to get an injure. It takes eight knives just to injure someone, and that takes way too long, especially in maps that have high walls. He can only use his power in short loops with low walls, and that's pretty much it, or maybe when a survivor is in an animation. You are so limited and the times that you can use your power, that you're just better off m one people, which is very counterintuitive because he's 110%. You can't chase with 110% killer unless they have a ranged ability like Huntress or Deathslinger, or their power helps them in some form like Spirit or Hag. This guy is 110% for pretty much just no reason. There's no reason that he has that she'd, he should have this movement speed at all. Another thing is that there's just way too many limitations. I've already explained you can use his power in certain situations. His main event is just big, big doo-doo stinker, dude. Like, it, his main event is supposed to be his ultimate ability, and it, there's just so many limit, limitations around it. It'll pop sometimes when you don't need to use it, and for some reason you can't hold on to it. I don't know why Behavior decided that he has to lose the ability for his main event over time. That's just ridiculous in my head. I don't know why they thought that was a good idea. He, I think he should have the ability to hold on to it. There's no reason it runs out. That's so dumb. And he, he moves so slow when you use it. And, and even past all that, you can't throw your knives once you're done. It's not worthy of all those limitations. So what? You, you work up this ability just to throw knives faster and have infinite ammo. And you can't even pick up survivors or look in lockers or vault when you're in it. That's not worth it. I know Scott Jund already talked on this a little, a little bit, but I'm just going to reinstate it. 
that you're you're seriously better off just not using main event most of the time. You really you you, re, you really are. It's just a detriment to him, which is a huge design flaw, and I don't even know how they got past behavior at all. So, yeah, <laughs> I, that's really all I'm gonna say about the weaknesses of the, of the killer. That's that's the two main ones. I I'm not gonna go into any other of the other weaknesses because uh, everyone knows what they already are. So. Another point I want to bring up is, and I know this is going to make some people roll their eyes, but I'm going to say it anyway. I've been playing Identity, Identity 5 recently, okay? And let me tell you, the killers that they make in that game are so, not just more powerful, they're just so much more creative in their design. I, let's take the, the starter killer, okay? I'm going to go through this really quickly because I know some people don't, especially if you just play Dead by Daylight solely, you don't care about Identity 5, but just listen, hear me out. I'm going to explain the starter killer, and then I'm going to compare it to Trickster, and you tell me if the Trickster is still a cool and unique killer, okay? So the basic killer that you start with is called Hell Ember, okay? I'm going to run through his powers really fast. His starting ability is that he basically creates an echo of himself that lasts for about 25 seconds, and it's an AI that will break pallets, chase survivors, and down them or injure them, things like that, right? That's his starting ability. His next ability is are these puppets. He can throw these puppets, he can, he can teleport to these puppets, he can like trade spots with them, he can put puppets down in front of the uh, rocket chairs, which is essentially the hooks in that game, to guard the chairs, and the puppets will actually outline survivors within that radius. He can throw the puppet so he can get some map control, and he can even turn the puppet into an AI like the Echo of himself, and the puppet will patrol the map for an infinite amount of time and will also chase survivors, okay? Compare that to Trickster, who throws knives, okay? And honestly, n n when you think about it, the Dead by Daylight community has been teased about this killer for up the close up close to three months and they've waited for a new killer for three months and the best thing that behavior could think of was just throw knives really fast compare that to the starting killer that i just explained sounds boring right because it really is it, it he really is and i really i just need to say it okay behind all the flashiness and character he just throws knives and that's all that he does there's nothing special about him at all he's not unique in any aspect and i i don't understand why they thought this was a creative creative enough design choice to actually get into the game it, it makes me think that they made the power first and they were like oh, okay well this power is fucking boring like we have to do something so they were like oh let's just make it a k-pop shiny flashy killer and that'll get some purchases right let's make them hot i th i honestly i now that i think about it i think that's what happened i i really do and to end off on this video i, I do want to also say that these past two chapters the past half year for this game has just been big stinky big uh oh stinky for this game uh, barely anyone plays twins and i think barely anybody bought them because they were broken on, re on release and people hate playing them uh, like the twins you play them by camping and slugging which is just entirely unfun and now we have trickster who's just the worst range killer in the game and is pretty much now worse m more worse than clown now there's no reason to buy him sure he's fun to throw knives around for a little bit but if you keep getting your ass beat then th there's just no reason to play him there's there's really not i mean people like winning and the charm of a killer can only last so long to the point where if you keep getting your shit kicked in that you're like you're like screw this like i don't want to play this guy anymore i'm never going to touch him again and i understand that with weak weak killers you can still get impressive kill streaks like with altsvarda with his 51 kill streak and sure you someone in this comments may be like well i i have won all my game with trickster so far and you know what that's great you're skilled or the survivors you went against are just total papega any competent team can beat trickster and you also need to understand that not every player is an altsvarda nobody not a lot of people the majority of this player base does not play this game for a living and has thousands of hours. Most people with this killer are going to struggle and uh, in the next two weeks, you're barely gonna see him. I guarantee it. I, I If I were to ask someone who has this, deal, has this DLC, I would not be surprised if they said they wish they could refund their shards or refund their money because I'm pretty sure you can't refund a DLC purchase on Steam, correct me if I'm wrong, but I, 
would not be surprised if people could wish to get their money back. Like I, I really don't. <laughs> Um, so if you're if you're like the one or two people that stumbled across this video and you're wondering if you should buy this DLC, I would advise against it, uh, at least until a little bit, until it gets buffed and then make a decision. Please do not buy this DLC. Uh, we need to, That's the only way to send a message to behavior that we want strong killers and we're not going to put up with this, all right? Um, and that's a that's a damn shame. <laughs> uh, that's that that's all I can really sh say about this chapter. It's just it's it's just a shame. So, uh, yeah, sorry about this, you know, quick upload, uh, really fast. I wanted to put some more content out this week. I have more free time tomorrow and the next day, and I have really cool video ideas that are going to be more heavily edited and, uh, hopefully more enter entertaining th than this one. I just, I wanted to upload something today so that I could say that I uploaded consistently this week. I hope you guys understand that because I'm really busy today and I had to cut time out of my day to actually make this video. So... Have a great day. Expect uh, some new content this week. And if you're new to the channel, uh, check out my most recent video, my ID85 video. I put a bunch of hours into that video. It's heavily edited. And I hope you guys enjoy. All right. Have a great rest of your day. Stay safe and stay cool. Peace.